On this episode, I teach you all about the OLL algorithms, how to identify them, and how to solve them quickly. Watch how. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to solve all the OLL cases that you're going to encounter in a 3x3. Essentially, after you've solved the 3x3 first two layers, you're going to encounter, after, of course, you've solved the bottom you know, yellow cross, if you're using white as the top layer, you're going to encounter one of seven last layer configurations. So OLL stands for orientation of the last layer, and it's the crucial step before you get into permutation of the last layer. So these steps are, again, very important, and I'm going to teach you how to not only identify them, but how to, in detail, solve them. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is one of my favorite OLL configurations. Essentially, it's just a simple yellow cross. You have the two headlights right here and the two headlights back here. It doesn't really make a difference which side you hold it on. So for all intents and purposes, let's go, hold, go ahead and hold it like this. So you get these two headlights and two headlights in the back are facing you. And you're going to go ahead and perform this. R, U, 2, R inversed, U inversed, R, U, R inversed, U inversed, R inversed, U inversed, R inversed. So again, that is going to be the first case. And if you needed to see that, let's go ahead and watch it one more time. So let's go, hold, go ahead and hold it like this. So you get these two headlights and two headlights in the back are facing you. And you're going to go ahead and perform this. R, U, 2. R inversed, U inversed, R, U, R inversed, U inversed, R inversed, U inversed, R inversed. So another case you might see is this, where you have almost it all solved except for two little corners. When you see this, you want to hold it to where this yellow piece is on this side. So the diagonal is like that with the yellow piece right here. And when it's in this exact orientation, you're going to go ahead and do F inversed, lowercase r, because it's going to be both of these, U, R inversed, U inversed, R inversed, lowercase r inversed, F, R. And again, the lowercase r move is when you move both of these. So again, lowercase r inversed, or lowercase r, lowercase r inversed. So again, the algorithm was down there. And in case you missed it, let's go ahead and see it again. So another case you might see is this, where you have almost it all solved except for two little corners. When you see this, you want to hold it to where this yellow piece is on this side. So the diagonal is like that with the yellow piece right here. And when it's in this exact orientation, you're gonna go ahead and do F inversed, lowercase r, because it's gonna be both of these. U, R inversed, U inversed, R inversed, lowercase r inversed, F, R. So another case you're gonna see is this one where you have a whole full side and you have these two headlights, but they're facing outwards. So this one's facing out this way, and this one is facing out that way. You're gonna hold it to where the big bar is on this side. And again, with these headlights facing out on your left-hand side, hold it, and you're gonna use that, in this case again, you're gonna use that lowercase r, and again, lowercase r inversed again. So when, I, when you see that and I do it, you'll know what it means. So we're gonna do lowercase r, U, R, U inversed, lowercase r inversed, F, R, F inversed. And it's solved. So in case you missed it, let's go ahead and see it again. And again, with these headlights facing out on your left-hand side, hold it, and you're gonna use that, in this case again, you're gonna use that lowercase r, and again, lowercase r inversed again. So when, I, when you see that and I do it, you'll know what it means. So we're going to do lowercase r, u, 
R U inversed, lowercase r inversed, F R F inversed, and it's solved. So here's another case where in the event that you see uh, this cross and you got one dot, it's kind of there's you're gonna see two scenarios. One, you're gonna see it when uh, in this case the yellow piece are all in the bottom right hand corner and you're going to notice that you're going to hold it to where this this little L right here this chunk is going to be in the bottom left with this in place you're going to do this algorithm R U R inversed U R U inversed 2 R inversed and in case you missed that let's go ahead and watch it again you're going to hold it to where this this little L right here, this chunk, is going to be in the bottom left. With this in place, you're going to do this algorithm. R, U, R inversed, U, R, U inversed, 2, R inversed. Another case where you're going to have, again, all the cross plus, you know, you know one yellow square. In this case, you'll notice that none of the squares have the yellow dot right here on the right-hand side. They're all on the left-hand side. So when that's the case, you're going to want to hold the square to where it's upright. And you're going to have, again, no square right there. It'll be right here. And you're going to perform this algorithm. R, U2, R inversed, U inversed. R, U inversed, R inversed. In case, again, you missed it, let's watch it again. You're going to want to hold the square to where it's upright, and you're going to have, again, no square right there. It'll be right here. And you're going to perform this algorithm. R, U2, R inversed, U inversed, R, U inversed, R inversed. Another OLL case you're going to encounter is again where you have this yellow cross and you have the two headlights this way and they're not back here, they're on the sides. So holding it to where these headlights are facing left and these two um, back cubes are facing outwards, you're going to hold it like this and perform this algorithm. You're going to go R, U2 inversed. R2 inversed, U inversed, R2, U inversed, R2 inversed, U2 inversed, R. And again, in case you missed that, here, here it is again. So holding it to where these headlights are facing left and these two um, back cubes are facing outwards, you're going to hold it like this and perform this algorithm. You're going to go R. U2 inversed, R2 inversed, U inversed, R2, U inversed, R2 inversed, U2 inversed, R. Okay, last but not least, you're going to encounter where you have again this bar, and instead of the headlights being on the side, they're in front of you. So when you do encounter this, you're going to want to hold these headlights down, so they're facing down, this bar is going to be up top, and holding it just like this, you're going to perform this algorithm. R2, D, R inversed, U2, R, and then D inversed, R inversed, U2, R inversed. Okay? So in case you missed that, here is that again. And holding it just like this, you're going to perform this algorithm. R2, D, R inversed, U2, R, and then D inversed, R inversed, U2, R inversed. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed this. Um, I do want I, you know, I really wanted to break down and create a whole segment about OLL, PLL, 
um, F2L. It really just had to quickly identify those things. Um, I did get new lighting, so lighting to my left, lighting to my right, and a new microphone here. And um, it's been an adjustment. So I'm learning how to mess with the audio, how to make the sound better, uh, work with the quality here. And uh, again, I really do hope this stuff adds value, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and uh, any questions you have as well. And if you have any input on where to put my lighting and, and uh, you know levels to put my audio, I'll take that as well. So with that said, uh, have a great day and happy cubing.